the good days, this to the sorrows. This is a mistake. I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, 'cause I don't feel the need no more. No, just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. We start to get dressed and then we cry, 'cause we both know it's gonna hurt, but not as much as this does. We had a good run, don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why I. You're the best to say goodbye. We start to get dressed and then we cry. 'Cause we both know it's gonna hurt, but not as much as this does. So baby, bye. It's for the best, and you know why. You gotta leave me here tonight before we make this even worse. It's gonna hurt even. Really? I would obviously start off like that. There couldn't be another way, right? Welcome to the live. I was curious why my audio was being weird, but my mic was muted. Not on StreamYard, but my actual mic. Welcome to the live. It was supposed to start at three, but I was bored. So <laughs> I know y'all can laugh. I understand. Don't worry. That's definitely a Julie Joe thing to do. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and come on and I was excited because I haven't really watched these videos and I want to watch them with y'all. As you know, I've been covering Melissa Collins a little more lately and <laughs> and um, I did a video on her recently. Like I've done a couple of lives with her in them, but then I did an actual video on her, but she's posted two more lives since then. I'm just trying to remember what order they were in. So that's what I'm going to look up really quick. But yeah, I don't normally post on a Saturday um, or go live or anything on Saturdays, but my husband's working today. So it's like, what else is there for me to do? I did a lot of the actual like chore things yesterday. Um, so yeah, I was looking forward to this. Oh yeah. I know it's supposed to be at three, but I got bored. Also, I don't know what's going on with my hair. So we're going to ignore that. How are y'all today? I might snack a little bit. I don't know. These are tasting a bit interesting. You might be a little old. <laughs> Ava, hey, babe. Um, I haven't eaten lunch yet. Um, I haven't really eaten breakfast yet, but I got coffee. <laughs> uh, and, and I don't know how I feel about these anymore. It's like, if you watched my members only live recently, I still have this bag. 
<laughs> like it's still it's still like pretty well i mean i guess it's not that full but it's kind of full all the all the all of these are gone all of these good stuff the brown ones are gone so i don't know it's starting to taste a bit funny is melissa the planner scammer yes she's way more than just that but absolutely you might know her right now as the planner scammer um so excuse me while i drink my coffee through this i hope that the gulping is not annoying if it is let me know um i hate when i hear people gulp on stream i'm not gonna lie if it's like really loud okay um the rye chips are the best aren't they they're so good i love the rye chips and the chex mix thing what are they called gardettos um snack mix but it's tasting funny now i'm not i'm not really feeling it anymore can't hear gulping good because i have my um noise it's like a noise suppression um it's on right now so hopefully you won't hear the gulping but anyway, so these, so there's one that's about 50 minutes and then there's another one that's about 30 minutes. So we're probably gonna have to get started here pretty soon and it probably will be a long live. So if you're having a relaxing Saturday and you're not doing a whole lot or you're doing stuff, but you want to listen, this is a great place to be because I'll probably be here for a bit. I don't know about there, but they sell bags with rye chips. They do. I don't, I'm sure they do here. Um, it's been snowing for nearly 12 hours, Sam. Oh my gosh. I want it to, well, I say that now and then come January in Minnesota, I'm sure people are going to be like, you're going to regret that. So I would like it to snow again though. I do really love the snow. Uh, it snowed a couple weeks ago. It was so great. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let me make sure I have this correct. Yes. Yeah, so this first one's 48 minutes and the next one's 28 minutes. This first one is called, um, this is about money. Okay. That's what it's called. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Charlene. Um, if you, if you do end up wanting to watch the end, you're obviously welcome to, um, watch the replay, but I'm glad that you're here while you are here. Yay. I'm glad that y'all are here. Um, Hi, everyone. Don't mind me while I listen and lurk while I eat lunch. No worries. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, this first one was called It's About the Money. Okay. Hello, hello, Facebook land. Welcome to my prison chic office. <laughs> I'm having it redone, so there's just like, it's fine. It's my prison wall. I'm, I'm in jail. So I'm coming to you live from jail. Like the stream, please. Thank um, you. But I've just decided that I don't care. And I've been saying I'm going to do this live for a few days. So here I am. I'm going to give this a minute and let Facebook go collect an audience. Do me a favor. Say hi when you come on. Let me make sure that I can actually see comments on this live. I'm going to take my call. Before we continue, Bethany said this is about money. This is about the money is the most honest thing we'll hear from her, no doubt. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Also, thanks, Mariah. Yes, if you could please like the stream, I'd appreciate that. Ava, did the planner price go up? Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's still the exact same price. And it's still for sale, by the way. From At least I looked yesterday like to see if it was still up and the price and it was still for sale. So, by the way, a member said they bought the planner. Good <laughs> Y'all are wild. Collagen. This is the collagen that we sell. I'll tell you a couple things I like about it. Oh. First of all, it doesn't taste like crap. Also, I think I need a napkin. They bought the they bought the planner and they're gonna send it to me. God bless them, right? I think um, so she said she was only gonna allow a hundred more. Well, we know one of them isn't gonna go to someone, right? Because it's went to a member. God bless them, because my husband would have taken me out in a bad, not really. He would have been so pissed off. I'd have spent $119 on a planner. Anyway, um, OMG, this pause. Yeah, it's good. Um, I'm going to have to go grab a napkin really quick because I spilled coffee. Be right back. I'll be right. Wait, do I have one in here now? I'm coming. Hold on. I'm here. I'm here. Here, I'm here. Okay, I know 119, 119, 119 dollars. Anyway, let's go ahead and watch. Like, 
You shouldn't have to say that, but it's just a thing. Like, it tastes like a snack. I keep mine in the fridge. For those of you who use this collagen, if you haven't put it in the fridge yet and used it, you are missing out. It is so good cold. I'm like, dessert. Anyway, <laughs> we it's are going to talk about money. We're going to talk about comp plans. I'm probably going to say some stuff that, hey, Joshua, good morning, Laura. I might say some stuff that confuses some of you who are not in the industry. So some of this conversation is going to be super simple math. And we're going to talk about concepts, which everybody can understand. Christy. And some of it is going to be about <laughs> right, uh, interesting. probably language that if you're not in the industry, yeah, you won't right, understand. Right. So you're going to have to skim over it because some people need to understand that. Hey, Renata. Does that make sense? Anyway, a couple things I love about this. One. Oh my gosh. Alessandro. We have a new member. Yay. I'm going to play our new member welcome and... Alessandro, thank you so much, and I'm so glad that you're here. That, I love that jam. That always just gives me a little, like, perk, you know? Again, Alessandro, welcome. So glad that you're here. It's single serve. I travel a lot. Like, a lot. And, um... I need to be able to throw things in a bag. A little bit of a gag, and Putting stuff in other containers. And, mm -mm. I just always have one of these in my purse. So I will drink it warm, but I will eat it warm, but Wait, what'd she I'm say selling that was? you cold. Cold is where it's at. It tastes like a mango snack. Um, I've tasted other collagen. I don't know. People always like, oh, collagen. Oh, thank you, Alessandro. Um, we do have another member too, Mag Ziara one four four. First off, your profile picture is really freaking cool. I love it. Um, and also, we have to jam again, real quick. We got we got a jam for this. Welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Mag Ziara 144. <laughs> I will get it. I will get it. Thanks again. Why is yours better? I don't know. It tastes better. I don't like things that taste gross. Natty likes. Is this just me? Yay, welcome. I'm not, it's not just me, right? Like, I want to be healthy too. <laughs> but, like, if something tastes <laughs> like awesome. hot trash, I'm just probably not going to eat it because I'm a yeah, big baby. That makes sense. Don't eat hot trash. I know there are people who are so healthy that they will take straight cider vinegar. Like, smash the heart button if I'm right for you. I'm not doing it. It tastes like hot garbage. Ugh. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Okay, this makes me giggle. Peanut butter and jolly because is she eating one of those cat treats? I know exactly what you're talking about. Those, like, um little cat packets, kind of like, they're a little bit longer and skinnier. And you, like, push them out. It has the, like, um the goo type of stuff that the cats eat. Oh, gosh. Now I'm going to picture that this whole time. Oh, I have to die earlier. <laughs> I'm going to do it. These treats. All right. So we're going to talk about comp plans. Igor, um, drop hi, a Igor. one in the comments if you guys are in the industry and are currently yes, working in a comp plan. True. I'm curious. There are going to be some people who watch this. The language I use is going <laughs> to confuse silent. you. But that's okay. I will try and make it. That was so good. Like, seriously, even if you don't eat collagen... If you need a healthy snack, you need that. No, I'm good. And by the way, the collagen comes in our fitness bundle that everybody is yapping about right now for the um, for the 12 days of fitness challenge that we're doing starting on December 4th. So the box of collagen comes in that. You want that. I want to be able to see these oh, comments. Gertz. You can't see. I'm That's like, ah. All right, let's talk about comp plans. Okay, so I'm going to do some overreaching ideas. First of all, I'm going to give you a big, bold statement that maybe you don't want to hear if you're not in my company. Anyone have any guesses? <laughs> Ava said, no, thank you, Melissa. A big, bold statement that you don't want to hear if you're, wait, what did she say? You're not in my company. If you're not, a big, bold statement you don't want to hear if you're not in her company. But our company does pay close to 40, between 40 and 50% more than any other company I have ever analyzed. It's just true. It's just true. Yeah, I believe that, of course. Um, if it was so good, there would be so many people flocking to Lab. Lab is 
barely significant in any sense of the word. They're probably doing worse than Monet, and Monet is like, yikes. It's just true. And I am so confident of that, that if there's a leader watching this and you're like, no, oh, I don't want people to hear that, that's not true. I am more than willing to go live with you and analyze your comp plan next to mine together. <gasps> Would that not be the best reaction video? Oh my gosh, I hope someone really takes her up on that. They go head to head. Imagine two Huns go head to head in a live on who has the better comp plan. That would be the most fun. We'd have to do that one live. That'd be the most fun. Be ready to open your back office though, baby. No lying. No lying. And that MLM math, real math we got to do. The last comp plan that I analyzed us next to, I did it with the fitness bundle. So the fitness bundle for a customer is 210 Today, there's a $10 off coupon, so you could get it for 200 Five products. It's a full month of five products. When we sell that to a customer for $200. Did she just say that it's 210 and there's a $5 off coupon, so you could get it for $200? It, it might, here, let's listen. No lying. No lying. And that MLM math, real math, we got to do. The last comp plan that I analyzed us next to i did it with the fitness bundle so the fitness bundle for a customer is 210 today there's a 10 dollar off coupon mm. so you could get it for 200 five, five products 10 dollar off coupon okay sorry <laughs> it's like she just bragged about real math <laughs> that's that's on me it's a full month of five products when we sell that to a customer for 200 dollars uh 200 dollars could buy me a flat screen tv I didn't say that. So many of y'all had such a good point in my video with um, Whitney, right? She's the first time I've covered her. It was earlier this week. It might have been my first video this week or my second. Whitney from Enagic, the, the water MLM. She mentioned like you buy a flat screen TV, you buy a phone. But but you, uh, so many of you were right when you said that you can buy a flat screen TV for much, 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 much cheaper than $1,300. You could easily buy one. I wouldn't say easily, but you could buy one for no, you could probably easily buy one for $200. Is that right? Yeah, right. $200 could pay for a month of your groceries. Yes. It's almost two planners. <laughs> $200 is almost two planners. <laughs> um, I earn $100. In order to earn that $100. Jen. Hey, Jen. Did I, did I email you back? Did you email me? Was it you? There's another Jen, I guess. I think it might have been you, though. Did I email you back? I feel like I did. I want to chat with you about something, if you're the Jen that emailed me. But I'm glad that you're here. I don't have to have bought something. There's no qualifier. I don't have to have sold to three other customers. I don't have to own a goat. I don't need to be able to stand on oh. one foot. And whatever other weird... Well, I'm sorry that it was... <laughs> I'm sorry it wasn't you, but I'm so still so glad that you're here. Also, your profile picture brings me great joy. Your pepperoni is so cute. Qualifier that your company has, because a lot of them, because we, you know, when we analyze compliance, people don't talk about that. Like, yeah, you can make four billion jillion dollars in our bonuses. Yeah, but like you need the blood of a newborn unicorn to qualify for it. I mean, I'm exaggerating, obviously, but some of the qualifiers and like my last company, the qualifier to, to get paid the rank that I deserved was so hard. The structure was so hard that <laughs> most Taylor. people in that company buy their rank. They're going down and they're buying products under certain people because it has to be strategically placed. Yuck. Like, you wonder why they all have giant cabinets full of stuff and can give it away. Well, that's why. If you're in an MLM and you have an entire cabinet dedicated to your products, your qualifier might be too high. If this is your sign. Talk about building a company on the backs of their people. Anyway, um, and then we have this new thing out there. People are like, oh, you can get your products for free. No, nah, girl, they're not free. You had to go sell some stuff. And instead of paying you cold, hard cash, they're going to give you products that are severely marked up. I know they're severely marked up because your company does 30% off sales. And after I've sat at a corporate table and looked at the actual numbers, um, a 30% off sale shouldn't be possible unless your products are deeply, deeply overpriced. That's an issue. Anyway, neither here nor there, um, but it's a sign. It's like there's things to look for if you don't fully understand comp plans. One of the overreaching ideas that I think are really important, um, our comp plan 
is really collaborative, not competitive. What do I mean by that? Actually, let me stop here because I did want to say something at the beginning. No, girl, explain. I'm looking at their comp plan, but I mean, it, it's just that it's just the same. I don't I don't understand. We'll go through it, but I, I do want to hear her a little bit more before we do. But I'm looking through it literally right now. And it looks I mean, of course, they're all laid out a little differently, but it but it's pretty much the same concept. Beginning of this live for those of you who are not in the industry and you're like, I'm not interested in a comp plan discussion or I don't I don't want to ever get into that industry because I'm not good at selling stuff. I know there's some of you on here that are like that. Like, oh, I don't know. I'm not good at selling stuff. Let me give you a hard truth about life. You're either going to get good at selling stuff or for the rest of your life, you are going to work for someone who sells stuff. One more again. You're like, I'm not interested in a comp plan discussion or I don't, I don't want to ever get into that industry because I'm not good at selling stuff. I know there's some of you on here that are like that. Like, oh, I don't know. I'm not good at selling stuff. Let me give you a hard truth about life. You're either going to get good at selling stuff or for the rest of your life, you are going to work for someone who sells stuff. Why is she acting like everyone sells stuff? <laughs> I'm an ultrasound technician. I don't do shit other than what I'm supposed to do, which is not sell stuff. A, a hard, did she say that's like a life, like a hard truth uh, for your, for life? Like a overarching, like, uh, what? <laughs> Melissa, did you know that some people don't sell stuff? Weird. There is no in between. Everybody sells stuff. When you went to the interview, you sold yourself. Um. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a false equivalence to what you're talking about. That makes zero sense. You're talking about selling products and selling things and you have to be okay with selling that versus like selling yourself in an interview. I'm sorry. I didn't have to sell myself. My resume spoke for me. That sounded a little bit annoying, but you know what I mean? Like I didn't have to go in there and act like I'm someone I'm not, right? JJ, start up selling more ultrasounds for the insurance company, LMAO. Yeah, because it's going to help my paycheck. Uh huh. <laughs> when you went on the date, you sold yourself. Everybody sells stuff. That's how the world turns. It's how the economy works. And a lot of you guys come to me for money oh advice, God. and you want financial freedom. You want debt free. You want to be able to buy your kids the things they want. You want to be able to go on vacations and travel. But the question is not, do you want that stuff? I know you want that stuff. Do you want to do what it takes to get there? Do you want to build the skills that it takes to become someone who can say, I want to take my entire family on a cruise next month. And that's 22 grand that I got it right here. I'm going, <laughs> I, you know, Jolene. do you want to be the person that does the things that does that? We are in separation season, baby. We are in the season where people make excuses. Oh, I'm going to do it after the new year. I'm going to, I'm going to slow down my business because I need to be present with my family. No offense, but the only reason people feel the need to be so present during the holidays is because you get time off from work. Her smugness makes me want to vom. And I have a fear of vomiting, but her smugness, you know, I got this sensation and I'm not talking about violence. Okay. But I got the sensation when she said that, you know, when there's a bug, you know, when there's a fucking bug on the wall you, you know finally you catch it you smack it with your hand I hate doing that by the way that's the sensation I got when she said that <laughs> you know what I mean just fucking smack the bug on the wall <laughs> I hope that makes sense what if you could just be present all the time thanks Ava what if your life what if you were present in your life some y'all gonna wake up on the last day of your life and have gotten there on autopilot you Okay, so then let me ask you this, Melissa. Why are you sitting in your basement for an hour doing this live? Are you currently present with your family? I think not. Maybe they're talking about, oh, I don't want to do that long live that I normally do. I would rather spend time with my family on that day because it's a holiday and they're home and I have the time to do so. So actually... It makes sense for them to not want to be working on a holiday. And it makes sense for someone in an MLM to say that because they work every day. I have a purple hue. Is that weird? Oh, on my hair. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Anyway, 
it's just oh gosh she's just it's a smug it's so she's so smug you drove to work on autopilot you drove home on autopilot you made dinner on autopilot you did the holidays on you don't even know why you're doing some of the things you're doing right, you're doing you it because everybody else is doing it this is separation season we're in a season where you have the opportunity pot meat kettle you need to do something different and make actual changes in your life and for those of you that are part of the my badass community because you purchased right, the my, my planner yes. We're going to go in deep on this. We're going to go in depth on how to not only separate yourself. Guess who gets to go in depth with her? Me. I get to go in depth with her? <laughs> Are y'all excited? I'm excited. But to use this season of separation, um, and I'm going to give you really specific tactics to do every day that is going to help build your self-worth. Because until you believe that you are worthwhile, nothing's going to change. You're going to take action to keep it the same subconsciously. That's just true. It's just what you're doing. It's why you're living the same year over and over again. It's why your bank account stays about the same. It's why your troubles stay about the same. It's why there's no growth going on. It's because you're not building your own self-worth and because maybe you just haven't been taught what to actually physically do to go create that self-worth in yourself. So someone, so remember, purchase the planner. And they said, well, they gave me the information and they sent the planner to me. And so now I have the link to get into her My Badass Planner group. And we get to actually look at the planner. Oh my God, I'm literally so excited. So, because it's not reading books and it's not humming and meditating and it's not manifesting it into your life and it's not thinking about being I, I am worthy it's not memes on facebook and it's not pretty pictures you put on the wall that's not gonna do it hasn't worked so far yes jen hasn't worked so far wait i need to hear that again i was psyching out about the planner the same year over and over again it's why your bank account stays about the same it's why your troubles stay about the same it's why there's no growth going on it's because you're not building your own self-worth and because maybe you just haven't been taught what to actually physically do to go create that self-worth in yourself because it's not reading books and it's not humming and meditating and it's not manifesting it into your life and it's not thinking about being I, I am worthy it's not memes on facebook and it's not pretty pictures you put on the wall that's not gonna do it hasn't worked so far hasn't worked so far all right back to comp i guess my question is does she think this is a good way to lead? Does she think that her acting like a spoiled brat, smug, um, know-it-all mean girl, like 16-year-old mean girl, does she think that's like the right way to lead people? Or does she think that that's going to help her grow a downline? Or does she think that people are going to respect her and look up to her? Because I can't imagine that that many people actually enjoy being talked to like this. Cause I sure as hell wouldn't. Um, <laughs> crime and crochet are my hyper focus. Julie Joe, my husband loves your snark. <laughs> Tell him I said, thank you. <laughs> uh, so excited for us too. Oh yes. Uh, plan review. Absolutely. It's a season to sit on my butt, watch videos and wait for roadside <laughs> service. Right. So it's all our fault. Okay, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does lab stand for lies and bulls? I guess so, Anastasia. I guess so, because they're totally fine with her doing this and saying this. The eclectic memo said, I know I'm worthwhile and that I'm not treated right at work mentally and it's physically taking a toll and to have and have to have a new job, but I will not join an MLM. Well, the eclectic memo, I'm sorry that you are experiencing that at work and I'm I'm sure it's awful, but I am also happy that you won't join an MLM because of the education that you have on it and what you know about it. So, and we're glad that you're here. I'm very glad that you're here. Um, if someone was acting like this in corporate, you will be hearing from HR, right? Beck said, honestly, I wish I could do planners, but that doesn't mean I'm not worthy. I mean, it, it, yes. Like what, what is she trying to get here? I don't get it. I don't get it. It's my season to die and faint and listen to Julie Joe all oh, reading whenever. Thank you. Oh, Elizabeth, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. Plans. I said, I said before I went off on that little tangent that comp plans should be collaborative, not competitive. What do I mean by that? Well, 
if you understand the industry on kind of a high level, like you understand from a zoomed out view, our job is to inspire other people to come in and make money and help them, support them, serve them so that they can go make money for their family. That's You're supposed to serve them, not be a complete jerk to them. You're supposed to serve them, not condescend and um, I like berate them for not buying your expensive planner. You just said it kind of our job at a high level. So why do comp plans punish <laughs> people for doing really good at Right, that? lesbian of death, right. Your comp plan, unless you're in my company, I would be hard pressed to find one that doesn't punish people. What do I mean by that? Well, when you bring someone in and they're a superstar, they just crush it, they just do a great job. In most comp plans, you stop getting paid on them. So it's called compression. They pass you. And we have been indoctrinated in this industry to believe that that's okay, that, that so that's funny. fair, that the company needs breakage. Not here, baby. Okay, Monica, I'm kind of feeling this too. Monica said, is she having a tantrum because they are not buying her planner or because she's not selling it as fast as she wanted? I think that this might be what's going, I think she's mad. Like, I think that she's um, upset that her planner's not selling like it should be. You know, she so she put a certain amount a plant. She's like, I'm selling 200 only. Well, one of them is coming to all of us. You know what I mean? So one of them is ours, <laughs> but, um, I guess she's not selling them as fast as she thought. And she said she was going to raise the price, but she never did. And I think it's because people aren't even buying it at the current price, which would make sense because $120, 119. Really? If you come in here and you pass me in rank, I still get paid 50% of your monthly check. I, oh, by the way, our check match is 50% on our first level and 50. Remember when they say it's not a pyramid scheme because you can, um, you can surpass your upline. I have been saying it doesn't matter if you surpass them, they're still going to get paid off of you. You're, they're still going to get paid off of you. It does not matter if you surpass them in rank. They're still going to get paid off of you. So, so pretty much doesn't matter. 50% on our second. I've enrolled, uh, last I checked, 1,059 people personally in this company. So I get paid 50% of all of those people's monthly check. So if I help them make $500, I get $250. If I help them make $5,000, I get $2,500. If I help them make $10,000, I earn $5,000. I am so, I'm not going to lie. Hearing someone admit that, I get so pissed off at, like, the FTC. Because I'm like, what else do you need from me? Like, what else do you want me to do other than just show this to you? Like, they're not helping out at all. I, I'm about to go on a tangent. But all of us in the anti-MLM genre, anti-scam genre, work so fucking hard to push as much information out as we can. And then the powers that actually can do something aren't. So it frustrates me. It does. It frustrates me a lot. And then we have examples like this where she's literally saying she makes her most the most money by her downline. And, and it is actually saying like how much she makes half of all the, the, of this over 1,000 people that she's brought in. And I'm sitting here going, what else do you want from us? Sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I know that was a little bit. Uh, some MLMers might call it negative. But, um, you know, I don't know. I just appreciate all the people who do anti-MLM stuff because it's hard. Um, but anyway, I, I also love it. I'll stop whining about the FTC and being a little bitch baby about it. But this is a great example of we're like, what, what else do you want? <laughs> I also get paid 50% of the people they bring in. It's resulted in thousands and thousands of people. I earn 50% of the check of thousands over, I think it right now it's over, uh, it's around 6,000 people. So we do get paid seven other ways, but I got news, you can have it, who wants it? Like, I don't care about those ways. <laughs> because what I do is I help people make money. And we can go into, you know, people are always like, oh, and I just love my products. Cool. I love my products too. Like collagen's great. And Moringa is cool. And I like CBD. It's good for you. It helps people. It really does benefit people's lives. 
and Liveology is helping people get their gut healthy. All that stuff is kind of cool and I do believe that you need those products, but you know what you actually need? You wanna know what our best product is that no one else has? The business, their comp plan. What do you think she's gonna say? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. Money. Money! Melissa is just serving up the best platter of scam I've ever, mm, pyramid scheme, boom. There you go. It's like, I'm going to like take this video and I'm going to write a long paragraph and I'm going to timestamp everything and send it to the FTC and go, ah, this, this is what we mean. Compensation plan. You can literally enroll for free with someone at lab today. Right. You can sell a fitness bundle for your friend and you to go do the uh, fitness challenge together. And next week you'll get paid a hundred dollars even if you don't order anything. By the way, these companies that say they have a true affiliate model and you can't do what I just described. Early Christmas present, right. It's called lying, folks. And I, I wanna yeah. just clarify you know that. You know it very well, Melissa. Because I see a lot of nonsense. What really brought me on here was, I'm not gonna say the name of the company, as I'm just, if I say start, it. I won't stop. Say yet, say um, yet. There's just this, scam situation going on right now and I'm watching my friends promote it because they don't understand. They don't understand that that company's going to get shut down. They don't. I've messaged some of you about it privately and told you be careful, but it, you know, so for some people, it's not lying. They're regurgitating information. They're regurgitating what they've been told by leaders that they're supposed to be able to trust. And the reason why people get hurt in this industry is because one day they start to really learn about it and they realize they were lied to and that in turn, they lied to other people. And that for a good person who's, who's, who has good values, that does impact us. I know you aren't talking about yourself, Melissa. I know you didn't just say you're a good person with good values after how you just spoke to people watching your live and how you speak to your downline. I know that that was a joke. It impacted me when I was telling people my last company had the best comp plan in the industry. That was a lie. I just didn't understand. I didn't really understand other, uh, other ways of compensating people. Hey, Kimma. Um, I am going to say, I don't know. Kimma, do you want to come on live with me? I don't know where you are. She may not be. She could be. Someone asked what lip oil I'm using. I'm using Kaja. I think I got it at Sephora. It's like, I read, it, I saw that it was really good and that it's like, kind of like the DR one, but not spending. I don't, I don't buy that stuff. I'm not spending that much money, but I think I got it at Sephora. Laying in a bathtub right now. I don't know. Or like naked laying in bed. So <laughs> if you want to come on live though, I'll push the little button. Um, I just, the spirit moved, babe, and I had to just come live and start talking about this. Um, wait, what did she say? The spirit moved her? She didn't say, it. she said that, didn't she? Kimma, um, I am going to say, I don't know. Kimma, do you want to come on live with me? I don't know where you are. She Love may that. not be, she could be laying in a bathtub right now. I don't know. Or like naked laying in bed. So <laughs> if you want to come on live though, I'll push the little button. Um, I just, the spirit moved, babe, and I had to just come live. The spirit moved her to come and bitch at all of us because she's in a bad mood, which is what she's been doing this whole time. I think Monica had it exactly right when she said that she's just like angry and, and upset and pissed off about the planners and stuff. Start talking about this. Um, I mean, I, I, okay. So I could go over, I know, I know I didn't do anything. I had to be here in my prison cell. You like the prison wall? I told you it looks like I'm in jail. Um, <laughs> I, um, I could go over every single way we get paid, but I think what would be easier for people to understand is when we start uh, contrasting. So we have a product called Livology Max. It's a system. It has four products in it. We sell it to customers for 150. Oh, good. I can bring her on. Hold on. Approve. Oh my gosh. We're getting a double feature. Ask Kimberly Keeble to join the live broadcast. Send it. I don't know if I did. Maybe she's going to come. Thank you, Sarah. That's sweet. So, uh, she is. Hi, Kimma. Yay. Hi, guys. What's up? Wait, I, I got to turn this up. Okay. I think I can hear you. Say something. Hello, can you hear me? Can hey, you guys hear me? I mean, I can like barely hear you. Can you guys really? comment and tell me if you can hear Kimma? Because it's okay if I can just barely hear her. 
I just want to make sure you guys can hear. I can her. talk. Um, I can hear you. No, it's something. It might be something with my phone, or maybe like, like Heather, I need my. You can hear her. They can hear you. So, and can, you guys can hear everybody. Okay, then I'm fine. Okay. Like whatever. I'll read her lips. Okay. Um, I can do. She has great lips too. Like that lipstick. I'm always like, oh, that lipstick's great. I never wear lipstick because I just feel like it's gonna get on my mouth, and then I'm gonna eat it. Do I have, have to wear this. Listen, let me tell you something about this lipstick. I have so many people asking me for this link, but I can't get the company to respond to me because I want to like, I want to get a cut because I, I give it out so much, like a lot. People are always like, what's the shade? And I'm like, I'm just doing this for free, basically. You know, like I give the link out. So I'm like, I need, I need to, I need to get a hold of hard candy because that's what it is. It's hard. You think that you're so above other people or that you have this weird sense of you deserve a cut that you're trying to get hard candy to make you an affiliate because so many people ask you about it. And I bet she's going to say like, she's not really going to share it much anymore. She seemed like she was kind of like, I like that. She's not sharing it like as much anymore because they aren't giving her a cut. That is so weird candy listen so they many don't. people free, free. just as there's another point so at the, you weren't here at the, the beginning of this i said for anybody who's watching this video and you're like oh yeah. i don't want to um i i don't want to sell stuff i don't like to sell stuff you do sell you're yeah, gonna you learn do. how to sell stuff and be effective at it or you're gonna work for someone who sells stuff for the rest of your life so you're gonna work for someone for a paycheck be broke at the end of the week but you're still selling stuff so it's just not rational mm -hmm. and we should just slow down right Sina. oh man so kim what kim was just describing is that like you guys go online and post about starbucks you post about your new hair band you post about your new shampoo you post about the the thing that you bought at the dollar store and made a wreath out of it you guys do affiliate marketing but you're just really deeply underpaid yeah. Why do people think they deserve to get paid for every single thing that they share? I don't get it. What makes you think you deserve to get paid for every single thing that you share? What? Why? I, I just don't. I'm, I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> I know these freeze frames are really, are really uh, hitting good today. I, I, I don't. I don't get why they're using entitlement. Okay, that's the word. That's the word I'm looking for, entitlement. They're so entitled, thank you, Sila, to get paid for anything that they share that they probably won't even share, share it if they're not getting paid. I, I don't know. It's just, I cannot comprehend why this is such a big deal. Like, I'm sure some people who aren't in MLMs think the same thing, but... I don't know. I just think it's ridiculous. I think it's so ridiculous. And then she's like shaming or not shaming, but like guilting you. She's like, you're sharing stuff and you're not getting paid. Mm. You're missing out on a lot of money. Come on. <laughs> like, so like, what do you mean missing out on a lot of money? I, I love, I love this fucking lip oil and I don't have to get paid to share it. If someone's curious, which they were a second ago, Kaja, Super great, cheaper than the D much, much, much cheaper than the Dior one. And I got rose hip spritz, which is the zero one. I, I does it, does it? I'm just support, I'm just supporting a company that, or well, a product that I like from a company. It's not, you don't have to get paid for everything. You don't have, uh, I don't know, that just frustrates me. Yeah, I'm just saying. Hey, somebody said, somebody told me this analogy when I first started this. Uh, industry and they said like did you ever go to like a mexican restaurant and love it and you come home and you tell your neighbors about it and you're like the the ambiance was nice the food was great the waiter was great i will go back and they're like you're working for that company and not getting paid like why and i was like i do that all the time and it yeah. really made me look at things that we do day to day and we just don't realize that it's valuable to somebody yeah it's valuable. yeah so um so so you're saying that you deserve to get paid from a small business, like a Mexican restaurant where I grew up in Andrews, Texas, in the oil field area. There was a lot of Mexican restaurants 
that were small businesses that Mexican families created and were incredible. I mean, so freaking good. And you think that because I, because you told someone, hey, you should go try this. You think that small business, that family business needs to pay you? Yeah, entitlement. It's sickening. So I was talking about our comp plan and I talked about the um, 50% on check match. Um, that's for the top ranks. It starts at, um, it starts at ambassador 6K. So that's 6K in volume. You start getting 10% of your first level and it goes up from there. There's a chart if anyone ever wants to look at it. Actually, it's super easy. We're super transparent about our comp plan. It's not a secret. It's right. not hidden. Right. It's you don't have to like jump through hoops and like give me the blood of a virgin. You can literally just go to the website and go to the bottom. It's right there out in the open. We're not ashamed of our comp plan. Um, we're actually super proud of it. It's the best product we have. But here's one thing I want to address because you came from a unilevel. And so a lot of people that come from unilevel and then look at binary freak out. And they're like, I don't understand it. And they say, you did not say this to me, but other people have said this and it drives me crazy. So we always say, I always say like, get in before the next hundred people, because I'm going to build a team under you. And that's what Kim is doing. The first person who joined with Kimma has on the leg she's building right now has like, I don't know, 200 people on their team. There's massive value to that. And someone said, and if this was you and I say really strong words that offend you, I'm actually not sorry at all. Okay, because oh, I just gosh, want you to know you're stupid. So I said something. <laughs> well, oh man, you know, there's lots of stuff I want to say about what she just said. I'm just going to play it again. I always say, I always say, like, get in before the next hundred people because I'm going to build a team under you. And that's what Kim is doing. The first person who joined with Kimma has on the leg she's building right now has like, I don't know, 200 people on their team. There's massive value to that. And someone said, and if this was you and I say really strong words that offend you, I'm actually not sorry at all. Okay. Cause I just want you to know you're stupid. So. <laughs> like, what do I say to that? The perfect example of a multi-level marketing top leader, Melissa Collins. Nothing better. She's, she's it. She's got it all. I don't think I'm going to say much more than that because she spoke for herself. I think it's pretty clear what I think. <laughs> I, said so, so, I just do. So I'm sorry. I, Kim was much nicer than me, so she doesn't talk like this, but I do. She just said, I'm sorry. But then you also just said, you're not sorry because they're stupid. That's literally what you said. So no, Melissa, you're not sorry. And I'm just telling you, you're dumb. If someone, they say, well, okay, cool. So you're building people under me. So how, do I, I not, like, what if I don't do anything though? I'm never going to get paid. So here's the thing. I want to just tell you a couple things of life. Like I, I feel that the person who says that needs to know this. Yeah. You if you get in it. your car and you don't turn it on, it won't drive. If you get a job and you never go clock in, you won't get paid. If you try to boil spaghetti and you never turn the stove on, it won't cook. Thank you, Captain Obvious. It's the dumbest thing people say. Well, if she built all that volume over there under me, like how am I gonna get paid on it if I don't do anything? That's silly. Yeah. Stop it. I've had you guys have to stop it. And people in Unilevels, leaders who, listen, I'm talking to you now, not you, Kimma, but leaders who are saying that to their downline who they know don't understand, you're gross because you understand. Comp plans are- You're freaking gross. You just called someone stupid and, and said, I'm not sorry about it. You just are. You're, you're gross. You. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm just, she got me fired up. Simple. Here's how they work. Write this down. You put volume in, you sell stuff. Money comes out. It's like an ATM machine. You put your debit card in, money comes out. A, a comp plan works like this. You put volume in, money comes out. All comp plans work that way. So if some leader is saying to you, oh, if you go there, you go to a binary, and you, and you don't do anything, you're not going to make any money. Yes, thank you. Sir Captain Obvious. Yeah. And if people do that in your company, they won't make any money yeah. either. Because that's rat. Like, yeah. Because if we could let you sign up for free 
and you could just make money, everybody could make money on Kim's sales. First of all, I don't know mathematically how that would work. That'd be super confusing. And 400 bajillion million people would have already enrolled. Right. We have to stop it. Like, yeah, I, I want to say something to that. So whenever I was coming over, I was talking to somebody about the difference, how it was different. And they said, well, you do realize that anybody that Melissa would build you, like, you're not going to get paid on that if you don't do anything. And I go, well, I do massive amounts of work. So I'm not sure what that, what the point was in you saying that. Like, well, you do, but not everybody will. And I was like, well, that's stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like if they say, here's the way it actually works in our company. It's super simple to understand. People are always looking for the catch. Here's how you make money. It's so simple. Like you don't need to write this down. Put your pen down. If you sell something, you get paid. The room. Like the end, the, wait, like let's get off the live. Like that, the end, end of the story. If you sell something, you get paid. And I'm just going to tell you something. Most companies can't say that. What do you mean? Most companies can't say if you sell something, you get paid. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Stop lot. Oh my gosh. Not only is she mean, but she's a liar. Most companies, it's if you sell something and then you also sell this and it lands over here and you can stand on one foot for three minutes and you have right peppermint mean people are the most insecure yeah and i've said this before about her i i think that she's like this because she is just so insecure like she is so insecure aaron you just missed melissa collins calling people stupid and that she's not sorry hey bestie by the way I have a personal order you get paid right but that's just not, not the way it is here if you sell something you get paid because that's the way hey, it should Cindy. be because if you because if you go to work, you should also get paid. Mm -hmm. If you provide someone a service, you should get paid. If you do effort and you make effort and you complete a sale, you should get paid. Yeah. It, it's just so simple. Yeah. I, I also wanted to add this too. So I had enrolled somebody, in my other company, and she fell off right away. Right. She like came on and I had put a bunch of people under her and a bunch of volume under her. And every month I would see. Thanks, I would see all this volume under her. And so one day I reached out to her and I was like, girl, do you not want to get paid on <clears throat> this volume that's underneath you? And she was like, I refuse to have to buy something to get paid. And I never will. And I, so that was, that was what she had to do. And, um, she just never, she just, and I, every month I would see it like three, five, 7,000, like all this volume volume, but she just didn't like the fact that she had to either have her own customers or buy something every month. She didn't like that. So. Yeah. Well, and some people don't and that, and they can stay broke. I'm fine with that because I'm not broke. Um, and so people that feel like that don't change the fact that I still get paid. So All right. if you think it's a scam, like I still get paid. If you think I'm annoying, I still get paid. If you think I should speak differently, I still get paid. If you think that I should have. Yeah. But so, I mean, look at you right now. Do we care that you're getting paid? No. We care to show what kind of person you are. I don't care if you're, you're, she's already rich. She's got tons of money. You know what I, what I don't care is that she has money. What I do care about is people who watch me or who come up, who know Melissa or who are going to come across this video, not knowing much about her or knowing her being in her downline, but watch it. Cause it's about her. I want y'all to know this. She is not a nice person. She is a terrible leader. She's mean to you because she's insecure and she shames you because, no, I'm not going to say that. She just shames you. I'm not going to go that in depth. I'm not going to be like that, but she's insecure. She's angry and she does not care about you at all. She cares about the money. I have different products. I still get paid. If you think your complaint that's not paying you is better, I still get paid. So like I none of that, none of that bother like I just write that down. I promise you, Melissa Collins and Kim McKee will gonna get paid. Do you want to? Right. Um, but let's address the binary. So people are confused about the binary. It's like Unilevel is better. And and here's the thing: most of our comp plan is actually Unilevel, and most new companies are hybrid Unilevel binaries now. That's just the way the industry is going. Mm -hmm. There are very few straight Unilevels and very yes, few indeed. straight binaries. It doesn't exist anymore. Most of them. So the Check match I was just talking 
talking about is a unilevel component of a comp plan. The enroller bonus is a unilevel comp, uh, a, a unilevel component of our comp plan. Our sponsor bonus, our retail profit, um, every other way we get paid is unilevel. The only thing is team commissions. Okay. The only thing is team commissions. Right. So in a unilevel, you have to build three or more teams. In a binary, you have to build two. Now I'm not super good at math. I'm just not. I dropped out of high school. I'm just math is not my thing. I had mono when I was in the fourth grade, so I don't know multiplication. But I do know that three is more than two. <laughs> For sure, I'm right about that. I know it. And so I just not, I don't have to be that. I don't have to be like a rocket surgeon to figure this out. Three is more than two. Building two teams. Y'all said it, not me. Is less work than building three. What's even less than building two is building one. And so when you you enroll to somebody like Kimma, who is a fast builder, and she pours volume under one of your teams, and you only have to build the other side. Yes, there is massive value there if you're going to come and learn how to do what we do and build a team, because you only have to do half the work. And for the, yeah, but there's 10,000 volume points over there that Kimma put there. And I know. Did she say rocket surgeon? You know what? I'm not going to comment on it. I'm just not because y'all know what I think and you know, and I know what you think. So she has the best comp plan because three is greater than one. I did. I, am I going to get paid on that when you have never done anything? But no, but Great. also, so some more information for so that crowd. Cool. Um, the liquor store down the street from you did $10,000 in sales last night. And you're also like not going to get paid for that because you're just not participating in the business. Right. I don't know how to say it any more plainly. Right. I just don't know how to, I don't know. There's lots of ways you can say it more, more kindly. <laughs> you don't have to say it the way you're saying it. There are several ways you can say it kindly and not so rudely. How to say it any more plainly. Um, but that is how binaries work. They're, they're two teams instead of three or four or five. Some unilevel people I know have like 12 legs. How many legs did you have oh, in your unilevel? We had over 10. Yeah. Maybe more. So, Thank you, Hannah. I, I do get that, but I, I don't want to give fairness to her, to be honest. Two is a lot less of, than 10, right? A lot, a lot of dead legs, too. Yeah, well, what happens if you accidentally put someone who you didn't know was going to be a strong builder on a leg what happens? What can happen in that plan? Okay, I'll give you an example of something. So we had placed somebody on a very far away leg, or she had just, I can't remember how she got there, but she ended up coming alive about a year into it. Just, and, but she was so far away and so far down from us. It was really, it was like not beneficial for us financially <laughs> to really build under her anymore, but we still did because we wanted to help build her business. Like we just put all the like, the money aside and we're like she really wants to build but it was difficult not everybody will do that like a leader won't necessarily help somebody i mean i know it's that's true that's not benefiting them but it was very frustrating for her because she was like way far away and way far down and she was really trying to do things and so we would like put place peanut butter and jelly did you think what i thought did we have the same thought which I don't know. Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't know. These people with her just to help her. And so it was really frustrating. So whenever yes. we found out about this and I got to talk to her about it, I was like, this is, this is something different, you know, like we could have a fresh new start, you know? So it's, it's really like incredible when you really think about how it works. Once I'm, I'm starting to wrap my mind around it and I've Ooh. had to unlearn. Thanks, Alyssa. So yeah. Much. Quick reminder, if you could like the video, that'd be great. Thank you. Because like for three years, I lived and breathed this. Like literally, I told you this. And this is just the way me and Jay have our work ethic. Like we we work a lot. We've poured our whole souls into this because we have these dreams, right? And somebody was like, you're so money motivated. I was like, I'm dream motivated. My dreams take money. So I guess so. Like <laughs> maybe I am. But I have dreams and I want to attain those. But we we worked and so we had all that thought process was built a certain way so when we came here it was just like and you said it to me so many times like kim i know this sounds coming this is so refreshing not hearing melissa talk <laughs> hearing i mean you know kim is whatever but like as long as melissa's not talking i feel so much better <laughs> intuitive right how many times have you said that to me because it seems so like not correct 
expect, but like, I so trust you. And I've done so many things that I it's like outside my box because when you want what somebody has, you do what they do, like period. Right. Even though it's counterintuitive, a lot of the things that we're doing together, it's just like, oh, I wouldn't. Okay. But you either trust somebody or you don't, you know? So anyways, I've had to unlearn all of this stuff, but it's kind of fun. It's kind of exciting. Yeah. I mean, we do things differently here. We we're really open and honest about that. Every the Oh my God. Yes. Your MLM is so much different than all the other MLMs. Every single one of them say that. And it's not, but, but the thing is, and I've said this a hundred times, I'm sorry if you're hearing it again, but I'm going to keep saying it. It's not the MLM, right? It's the MLM sh business structure. It's the way every single multi-level marketing company runs. Every network mark, they're all the same, right? Network marketing, multi-level marketing. It's the way that they all run. That's, that's the issue. Open and honest, right, Terry Lynn? That's a freaking joke. <laughs> the rest of the industry is going left. I'm going to potty, but I'm going to play this because I can hear it from the bathroom. Left, we're going right. Um, Brandon and I were at the DSU conference, which is like a conference for corporate officers in all different companies. I mean, if you're watching this and you're not at lab, your company was there. Like I was hanging out with your CEO and listening to people talk and listen to... And we were like, man, everybody wants to just go lean into what's always worked, lean into the basics. What they mean by that is mass messaging. They mean gross spammy hey girl messages. They mean host to post. Mm. They mean little groups. They mean, they mean stuff that you guys don't want to do. They are not nobody. What we're launching this week, it's so... For me, I've been, I, it's been a vision in my mind for close to two years, and then I've been working on it for about a year. And so I feel like I'm giving birth to a child this week. It's so exciting. Yeah. And I'm like, we literally are doing something for the industry. It's, it is going to impact the industry. I guarantee you, mm -hmm. mark my words, yeah. in three to five years, every single company will be doing what we're releasing this week. And they are that far behind. Um, be, and I know that nobody has it because we had to build it from scratch. It doesn't exist out there. Um, I also own, um, a tech company that sells tech to MLM companies. So I talk to a lot of CEOs. I talk to a lot of CTOs and I'm just telling you, nobody, not, not only does nobody have this, nobody has the concept of it. No, they're not even, they're just starting to come around to why are they doing this? I see people copy me all sorts of time. I saw someone today talking about her amazing system. She has a text to opt-in. Congratulations for, for copying. Um, and I don't, I don't blame you and I'm flattered and whatever. The problem is, is that you don't realize. And if you think this is you, I'm talking about, I don't know how to help you. I, there's a lot of people that I saw today doing this. Um, you don't re realize what's actually happening in the text marketing world. And um, I'm here. how no one's getting your, your text. So your system is no longer working. I realize That's just the truth. Um, unless you have jumped through massive, and they haven't. I know that they haven't. Mm -hmm. It will take straight cider vinegar. Oh, but hold on. My question is, Melissa, how do you know that though? How do you know that it's no longer working? What makes me believe that you are educated on this? I'm sorry, but I just don't think Melissa knows shit about shit. If I'm being honest, um, she's so condescending. Oh my gosh, I know. Uh, let me see if I can find where we were about focus or so it might have been saturday like focus on one thing and go do it really well even if that one thing isn't lab even if it's something else right steal all of the training we've given you and go crush it somewhere let's say that you're like Take I, I really feel that way like you i there's a lot of people that i saw today doing this um there we go you don't re realize what's actually happening in the text marketing world and um how no one's getting it your text so your system is no longer working i realize that's just the truth um unless you have jumped through massive and they if you say that's just the truth which she has several times frankly i don't actually believe that's just the truth they haven't i know that they haven't mm -hmm. um it's just the through rate is, is not working anymore i mean you might as well send emails at five percent open rate but yeah here nor there it's not my problem we can't fix everything in a day we're gonna work you can't fix anything ever <laughs> that was just me being petty i just I'm, I, <laughs> I am giggling and trying to like stay calm and like be chill and have a good time but man she is so freaking mean
and people like her really piss me off. We're gonna laugh first, and then we're gonna and we're gonna we will we will. I'm gonna be honest with you. We are not going to hold on to this technology. We are. Are Are you actually gonna be honest with me this time? Or are you gonna continue to lie? Because I don't believe you're actually gonna be honest with me. We're absolutely gonna tell other companies because when other companies, when the industry wins, we all right. win. Well, there's no secrets. I always say that. I've said that to Kim many times. Like I don't actually care if somebody gets it's free to join sarah the fudge lady said um does she have like sources to show the actual truth no <laughs> no sources ever if you are a leader in another company wondering what we're doing and you haven't joined for free to spy on us jaggy lee said so happy to catch a live from hello from scotland hi thank you so much um for the the super chat i appreciate that i appreciate all super chats i get thank you so much that is super generous you're also stupid and you have too big of an ego like you have an ego problem you can't learn something from someone why would you not and and people are my my team and my other leaders come to me and they're like why do you just let people i want everybody to have it i think i said on our corporate call last night fo about focus or so it might have been saturday like focus on one thing and go do it really well even if that one thing isn't lab even if it's something else right steal all of the training we've given you and go crush it somewhere it's, it's, can i steal that say that you're like hey. I, I really feel that way like go win yeah. please please yeah. stop sending hey girl messages you're ruining it for everybody yeah hey one of the things that did i pass where she called someone stupid again he gets it's free to join if you are a leader in another company wondering what we're doing and you haven't joined for free to spy on us, you're also stupid. I did pass it. Melissa, I really think at this point when she's calling someone stupid, she's like, I don't know how to say this. I don't know if I can say this. I don't think I'm going to say it. I think it's her insecurity showing, if I'm going to be really honest. I think it's her insecurity. I hope y'all are picking up what I'm putting down. I just think she's so insecure. She has to call other people stupid to make herself feel better. And you have too big of an ego. Like you have an ego problem. They have too big of an ego? Melissa, your ego is so big that it has filled up the basement that you're in and seeping up the damn stairs through the bottom of the door. Why I join companies that are free all the time and look around and get training. Why would Objection. you not like, are you so egocentric that you think that you have everything together that you can't learn something from someone? That is so funny that Melissa's talking about people being egocentric. Like, like that she's not. She's talking about it like she's not. Why would you not? And and people are my my team and my other leaders come to me and they're like, why do you just let people I want everybody to have it? I think I said on our corporate call last night about focus or so it might have been saturday like focus on one thing and go focus on no i'm not gonna say it do but it I... really well even if that one oh, thing my... isn't lab even if it's something else right. steal all of the training we've given you and go crush it somewhere okay so she just said i can steal all of the training she just said it okay so if she tries to like do some shit with it i'm gonna replay this and i'm gonna say look whoever she just said i could and so i will did say that you're like hey. I, I really feel that way like go win yeah. please please stop you're sending big girl messages you're ruining it for everybody yeah <laughs> hey one of the things that caused Thanks, me Lisa. to really make the pivot to you guys was whenever we had our first call and you started telling me about this automation too late. And it was so foreign to me so so foreign that like you just said i could not visualize it at all and it like took an hour i think of you like of us talking because i was like explain it to me but the the concept that i could enroll somebody they could be onboarded and start training before i have to actually do any kind of communication i was like wow like i i just couldn't i couldn't see it and i think that's what's happening is like people are like i don't get it yes but it's so intriguing yes, to me yes. because i was so burnt <laughs> so incredibly burnt on spending hours and hours and days or whatever it is with people that literally just said, uh, eh, it's not for me. Or they didn't Well, stories help people understand that. You've been you've been launched for is this day eight? I think it's nine, day nine. Okay, so day it, nine. 
So in, in your last company where you were super successful, how many people did you personally enroll? Over the whole three years? Yes. Like 300 people, maybe 250. Okay. So let's go with 300. Let's go with the bigger number. Let's say it was 300. Julie. <laughs> um, and that took you three years to do. Three years. Three years. Everybody with us? 300 people, three years. Um, and how many people have you personally enrolled in the last nine days? Um, close to 200, I think. But I think we're at 300 for the, my whole team. You know what? You know what's funny about that? You think she took it from her? You think she brought people over from her last MLM? They're like, oh my gosh, I have gotten so many more people in this next MLM than I did in my last one in, in a certain amount of time. Well, I wonder why. So you're telling me that you had like 300 people in your last MLM and you, that none of them are going to come over with you? Come on. Come on. And um, wait in the last nine days. Yeah, apparently. That I brought on. So me enrolling and my team enrolling. Right. So, so you built a team. Oh, oh. So no, no, no. She just said, so must ask personal, but she just said that was her and her team enrolling. It wasn't personal uh, enrollees. It was her and her team. Okay. Team of over 300, but you have personally enrolled almost 200. I, I haven't gone and looked at the number today because it keeps ticking up and I can't. Almost 200 she's personally enrolled. So I guess none of those could be people who came with her. Hmm. Can't keep up with it. But it's it's almost, she's almost at a point where she's enrolled more people. In her first month, I I'll just make a bold statement right here. Oh. In her first month. Oh, yeah, no, 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 that's exactly what happened. She's, she's, and Melissa's saying this right now. This is her first month. Well, Kimma is cross recruiting. She's enrolling people from her previous MLM that were already under her. So, of course, she's going to get a lot more than normal. She, she came to another MLM and she brought people with her. That's totally normal. So, let's say she has 300, they said she had 300 people in three years. She has less than two. She got, like close to 200 so let's say she had 185 that's a pretty good percentage of people that you can bring over from your last mlm i mean that's that makes sense less than 50 yeah oh wait less than 50 percent wait 300 150 <laughs> a little bit over 50 percent <laughs> sorry everybody such a dork um my math is also bad i guess but but you see what i'm saying like they're making it seem like she came to lab and her team exploded bloated but when you think about it she currently has less people than she did in her last mlm and has been able to get that many people in a month because of her last mlm where she cross recruited them into it so but she started halfway through so in her first two weeks she is going to enroll more people and build a bigger team than took her three years to build another company this is the explain she but it's okay i'm not going to tell her to explain it because she won't she won't explain cross recruiting and how it works she's not going to explain why uh she's gained so many people she's going to say lab is just better it's just better over here kim is a kim is a part of my downline and i'm just a great leader no that's actually not what's going on but they're not going to tell you that because of course then they can't brag on themselves the same woman she has the same network she has the same skills. She has the same drive. She has the same everything. The only thing that's different is a system that's allowing her to scale. The only thing that's different than her last MLM was that she ha is now cross-recruiting people from her last MLM to this MLM. It's remarkable, isn't it? Isn't it? Julie, are you talking to me? Because, yeah. <laughs> but I think you're talking to um, Ollie's Gigi, uh, Julie. But it, this is this is wild that 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 she's trying to paint her system so great, but they both know, they both know that it's from cross recruiting. Cause I couldn't have done that. that I couldn't That's right. I have humanly done it. There was no way, even if I had VAs working with me. Right. You couldn't have, because it's from cross recruiting. Right. You guys just, you don't, you don't have the ability to scale. And that's the problem. People want to come in this industry leaders. If you're listening to this and you're like, scale i'm so sorry i keep pausing it i'm sure it's annoying people but but listen to how ridiculous they sound right now they know it's cross recruiting but they won't they're not going to tell you that but but go into this part it's okay no me i should have i should have known you didn't say jj um but but 
but go into this section knowing that they know it's cross recruiting, but they're trying to make sure you don't think it's that and that you think it's lab and their stuff. I want a seven figure income now. For those of you who are out there like, I just want to make 500 to a thousand bucks a month. Y'all wild. I don't know what you're talking about. This isn't for it's partisan for you. That's cool. Come in here, sell uh, 10 fitness bundles. You'll make a thousand bucks. Okay. That's the deal. Easy, see, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Go find 10 people who need to lose 10 pounds and who want to save $10 and you'll make a thousand dollars. Okay. That conversation's done. But for those of you who are like, I want a seven figure income. I have a question for you. Can you actually scale where you're at? Can you scale? Can you enroll 200 people in the next nine days? If the answer is no. Um, actually, you can if you cross recruit them into the MLM. That is so frustrating. It's, it's actually really frustrating me right now. You're not going to get there. Melissa, you better bring that tone down, girly twirly. I don't want to match tone to tone, babe. Sorry. Right. You're not going to get there. She is such a lying, nasty, mean girl. Nasty. And I, Kim is not the only story like that. The last leader we brought on, she, the maximum amount of people she enrolled in her previous company was 275. She enrolled 310 in her first three weeks. Wow. We have Why do you think that is? Multiple stories. The system works. Right. The system works. So, I mean, I. And it's about, you know, effective onboarding. Like you said, you do not have, I don't even want to do the math on this, but let's say it took you 20 minute phone call to onboard everybody you enrolled. What's 20 times? Oh, no, it's just Melissa now. <laughs> 200 is 20,000. Oh, I lost Kimma. That's 20,000 minutes. <laughs> I don't want the math on that. Like nobody has the time to scale it. It's critical. And if you can't, scale yes beverly you're just gonna be running on this hamster wheel forever you're not gonna make the money you want it's just not gonna work so that's the end of it why'd you get kicked off how do i put you back on i don't know what happened to kimma how long is this one anyway if you're at the end of this and you just popped on i strongly recommend you go back and watch if you're interested in kimma. how <laughs> Um, we make money. I get a lot of messages every day. Melissa, how do I get out of debt? Melissa, how do I make money? Someone said to me yesterday, Melissa, how do I get more wealthy? It's such a simple answer. Are you guys, I mean, maybe write this down if you can't remember it. Um, the way that you get wealthy, such a simple formula. It's so, but this might be the most profound thing. you. Do you think sometimes people are so condescending just because it's their insecurity of their own intelligence? I'm wondering if that's what's going on in the situation. Why she's so condescending, specifically saying like people are stupid or you're stupid or dumb or whatever. She's using that language and has used it several times. I wonder if it's her own security, insecurity from her lack of intelligence or education. I know we mentioned that earlier, but I really wanted to make that a solid question. Here all day. So I hope you're ready. Like, is everybody ready? Like drop a yes in the comments. Are you ready? Do you want to hear the profound formula? How to get, this might be the smartest thing you've ever heard. I think it. Okay, we're about to hear the smartest thing we've ever heard. Hold on. I got to re-lip oil it up. I really want to be prepared for the smartest thing I've ever heard. I'm petty right now. Okay. <laughs> oil up those lips, baby girls and boys and theys and all the peeps. Let's listen. Might be. It's definitely the smartest thing I've ever heard. It's the smartest thing that's ever been spoken in this room. It's definitely the wisest thing Kim has ever heard. I've... Did she just say it's the wisest thing Kim has ever heard? How do we know that? Just gonna say that for her. Um, so are you ready for it? You ready for the advice? How to get wealthy by Melissa Collins. You should write this down. I bet it's something we've all heard before that Melissa didn't come up with. What do y'all think? Yeah. Do you wanna hear it? Kim, are you ready? You wanna hear it? Bring it. Yeah, it's so good. It's, it's just so really excited. good. I'm not sure you're ready for it. It's really good. Okay, here it is. You ready? Make, make more money and spend less okay all right mm -hmm. that's it very very simple it's so simple make more money you have to make more money you guys out there i've been you so i'm not criticizing you i have been you so has kimma you're out there 
living paycheck to paycheck, broke as a joke, right? Making, making, making payments on everything. No shit. Are you telling me all I have to do is make more money and spend less? Oh my God. Could you imagine if it was that freaking easy? I'm sorry. I yelled into my mic. Please forgive me. What, what this is telling me is her privilege is like, I mean, she could, Melissa could never imagine, like she couldn't imagine where the majority of us sit in the, in our lives, right? She couldn't imagine it because her privilege is so intense and her lack of intelligence is so great. Like she could never imagine being in a position where it's not that easy. Just everyone take a deep breath. We're okay. It's all right. She's just, hers just doesn't know. And you think you're going to budget or save your way out of debt? Bro, just stop. Just quit now. Budget and save your way out of debt? What do you mean? Yeah, actually, a lot of people do that. Have you ever just like tapped on your forehead right here when you're really, you know, like when you're really feeling like tense? Another good thing is to rub the back of your neck, rub that vagus nerve and just like, yeah, you know what I mean? Just relax, get it relaxed, rub the back of the neck. Mm, that's so nice. Oh, I feel so much better. Now file <laughs> bankruptcy. It's not going to happen for you. Not going to happen. If you're living paycheck to paycheck. Emily said she's a joke and I couldn't agree with that more. Like, How do you think you're going to start saving $500 or $1,000 a month? The right. It's irrational. Oh, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor said, spend less by not buying her planner. <laughs> Every month there's going to be a surprise expense. This month it's Christmas. Next month it's going to be heating oil. The next month it's going to be heating oil again. I mean, <laughs> there's all these things that happen. You have to start making more money. It is 400 million times easier to make an extra $1,000 this month than it is to save $1,000 on what you currently are right. spending. Wouldn't it be so nice if we were all in her situation, like if we could just simply say, you need to just go make more money. Are you, are you, are you serious? Are you serious? Serious? Like my husband works six days a week. <laughs> what do you mean? Go make more money. Like he needs one day to recoup. Don't worry. He's not going to work six days a week his whole life, but currently he has to. Um, and I work 12 hour shifts and do YouTube. I'm never not working. What do you mean? Like, <laughs> what? So my best advice to you is get a new income opportunity. Listen, Crime and Crochet said MLM math strikes again. I've never heard something more accurate. What she is saying, MLM math, MLM logic, hun math, hun logic. Just go make more money. Hun logic. Start making more money and do not change the way you live. Stop doing that, leaders in the industry. Stop going buying big, stupid houses and Gucci belts. Nobody needs those rod bottom shoes. They hurt your feet and you look dumb. Stop it. And I, you know why I think you look dumb? Because $3,000 for something to walk on is just dumb. Is. There are children in this world who don't have clean water. You're walking around in $3,000 shoes. You're gross. I hate it. It's gross. This is a weird twist from Melissa. Huh. Gross. gross can i ask get them off your feet can i ask like are you kidding me? there's three hundred thousand children in this world that don't have one <laughs> pair of shoes and you need a thirty five hundred dollar pair of shoes that's melissa there are children in this world that don't have shoes and you're selling a planner for 120 dollars <laughs> gross can no. you hear me i have a code can you hear me can you i don't care about nice things if you oh. want to buy nice things i can't hear you can not hear me oh i yeah, yeah. No, we can't hear her because Melissa keeps shouting the entire time. I can a little bit. No, you're muted you hear, now for sure. Hear me now. I can sort of hear you. You sound like you're in Texas and I'm in Arkansas and we're talking. The audience like, hear me? They can hear you. Okay, I want to say something real quick about on that. So one of the silly eight two BS 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 so maddening. It really is maddening. I'm so sorry if this is triggering y'all like to be angry because I'm I'm getting a little angry too. I, I didn't know she was going to go on this rant, but now she's like doing a 180 where she's like, 
kids don't have shoes. Why are you buying expensive shoes? And I'm like, Melissa, did you see the car that you have? Did y'all, if you watch my recent video on Melissa, that's her car. I'm like, you're talking about these people buying $3,000 shoes. What about your car? Your car was expensive as hell. So it's just really funny and ironic. The things that we did, and you know this, story, yeah. and it's really <laughs> important. And I, nobody <laughs> even told us to do this. We just did it intuitively, which is weird. Whenever, like three years ago, one of your girl, one not three years ago, but your girl last night said, I forget her name, about picking trash. Do you remember that? One of your girls that you were talking, that you had talked, um, she said that, that she used to pick trash and resell it. And me and Jay did that just three years ago. We literally knew the different neighborhoods that had trash days and we bought a pickup truck just for that purpose because we were so broke that we had to do that. So I'd got like a Keurig machine and I'd clean it up and I put it on marketplace and it would sell it. And we. Okay. I thought, I thought we could use a little schmimwi. No, no, family in her sweater. Family in her sweater. Family say hi. Everyone feeling a little bit better now? Family, hi. Hers in her sweater because it was it was 20 degrees this morning. We had to we had to take her potty and it's so cold. I just thought we're gonna go back to it, I promise, but I just thought we needed a moment. Oh, did y'all hear her? That was a baby girl yawn. That was a baby girl yawn. What do you think? Look at how cute she is. <laughs> oh, my sweet girl. Luna's here too. But dad's not here to help me pick you up. Luna's here. Yeah. Hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. You say hi to them too? Oh, I love her so much. Okay, I'm going to hold her for a little while as long as she lets me while we watch this because you know what I mean? live like that right so that is like how close that was to us just three years ago so whenever we started making income and then like last year we made a quarter of a million dollars so that's from going to make making like thirty thousand a year to a quarter of a million we were just like what but one thing we didn't do and it had to be the lord like because we always pray like direct our steps god direct our steps it had to be the lord we stayed yeah. in the same house we're still in a fifty thousand dollar house 700 square feet tiny little house we do want to make a move out of here. We did not change our car. We still have that old beat up pickup truck. We did travel. We did go see my daughter a bunch of times, but that was investing into our, our lives, you know? Yes. And we bought some new appliances for our house. We put air AC in the house. Like, so we did investing. We invested some money. We bought some whole life policies. Mm -hmm. And when I look back on it, guys, I'm just like, who showed me how to do that? Because we really didn't. We had a little bit of financial advice, but like, as far as like saying like, don't do this, don't do that. So I'm so grateful when you, when I hear leaders, like you say, that's what you're supposed to do. Cause we didn't even know that. Like we didn't know we weren't supposed to change the way we that's live. That's why so many people get hurt in this industry. I they mean, we have people who go from making $2,000 a month and that's their normal to making $40,000 a month. That happens all the time in this industry where people, they, they come in and they hit it and they, they, they really get to work and they know how to do it. And they start making five figures a month and they weren't ready for it. So they go upgrade their entire life. And it's like, no, wait, <laughs> get out of debt, pay everything off, keep your expenses the same, stay lean and mean because there's going to be ups and downs in business and you're going to need to be nimble. I, I'm not saying don't have nice things. I'm saying take care of your family, build a financial fortress. Don't go build something that's built on a house of yeah. cards that you have to have 50 grand a month. Yeah. My expenses, my monthly expenses are like 9% of my total wow. income. Oh my God, uh, very, that's amazing. Few people can say that um, because I haven't changed much of my life either. I mean, I do live in a nice house. I live in a nicer house than I, than I lived in previously. What about your car? Um, but I don't like, I don't know. Like I just don't, Yeah. I don't want fixed expenses. <laughs> Somebody saw me with my, my Louis Vuitton bag in, in a picture. And they're like, well, you, I can't believe you would do that. Listen, guys, I earned that bag. That was like an earned thing of, with my company. This is I funny. would never, and I'm not saying like today I want, not never, but I could never rationalize spending two or three thousand dollars on a handbag. Do I use it? Yes, I travel with it. It feels good, but I would not personally be able to sit, wrap my mind around doing that. 
I said because Luna, but it wouldn't be a wise really decision. Luna left. So like when you see people with nice things, you have to think like you don't always know the backstory mm -hmm. behind things. So we really try to be wise with our money. We we love to sow big seeds because like here's the cool thing, Alyssa, is Jay and I's prayer for 13 years has has been we wanted to be radical givers, right? We wanted to be radical givers. But you can't be a radical giver without having something radically to give right so we would get that's for the money doesn't matter people did y'all hear that that's for those out there going money isn't oh everything well, money's everything to the little girl in africa that doesn't have clean water listen guys melissa melissa Ooh. we are ending this one on a strong note you know what i mean she's real look at her look at that freeze frame oh hold on Did y'all hear that screenshot? Hold on, I gotta do it again. Nice. Whenever we were involved with a homeless ministry and we would sow like these $5 seeds. <coughs> and so last year, my friend went homeless on purpose. That was the name of his ministry for that thing. He went and lived on the street of Mobile, Alabama on purpose because he wanted to see and engulf himself into the lifestyle to see what the true needs were. Cause you, you know, like we, he would go feed them and give them blankets, but he went and lived for 90 days on the street. And so me and Jay were able to help fund that. Like, and whatever he needed something, it was the coolest feeling guys. He'd be like, Kimma, I met a lady in a, in a car with like five kids and they, she needs a hotel for the night. Can we get her in a hotel but until we get her into the services Monday? And we'd be like, done done so we were, we were able to do stuff like that that stuff is the freeing things that money gives you where we would be like we'll pray for you and there's nothing wrong with praying for people right but when you can back action with prayer Don't if somebody's shit. hungry you can actually feed them and pray for them like that it's such there's such power in that and i think god blessed us because he knew our hearts would go there i think yeah. he did like if I give them money, they're going to do the really? right thing with it. It's a seed. Money is a seed. That's the powerful part of financial freedom is being yes. able to be a radical giver. I mean, you know? I have, uh, you know, I, I'm a very, I, I rely very heavily on my intuition. So all of my giving isn't always, maybe not doesn't always make sense to people. Right. Um, you know, I've, I've donated a lot to the elephant sanctuary in Chiang Mai, Thailand, my Okay. Okay. So what they're doing is they're just blowing smoke up their asses just to make themselves look good. Like, listen, Melissa, I don't, I don't care what you've done. I frankly, frankly, don't really care what you've done with your money. Um, because what you've really done is hurt several people. You've scammed hundreds, likely thousands of people, um, and put them in a worse position than they were before because of your greediness. Same with you, Kimma. Heart is there. I, I really love those elephants. Um, I donate a lot to Souls for Souls, which is putting shoes on children, and I donate a lot to clean water initiatives because it's it is it's an absolute sin that we have people in this world that don't have clean water. Water is a birthright. Oh, is it Melissa? I just, I can't, I can't listen to her anymore. I can't listen to, also, look how cute Finn is. Oh my God. Y'all, I'm, I'm really not like the type of person who just leaves my dog in clothes. Like, it, it was really cold this morning and she's kind of chilly. So I just left her in her, her outdoor sweater. Um, and she's so cute. Also, she, she's so cozy. Um, but I just, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear her say this because it's just, it's a, it's good to give, obviously very good to give. Um, but some people give just to be able to make their egos feel better. Not because they actually look at Finley falling asleep, not because they actually care. And someone mentioned earlier, stroking their own egos. Absolutely. Look, Finley's done with this shit. She's tired. <laughs> Little puppy looks happy. She is. She's cozy and she's warm and she's full. <laughs> she's my baby. That's so tone deaf. That's right. And you know what? Joggy Lee, I, I heard, I watched you say it earlier, they, they were like playing as like a, a houseless person. Wild. Wild. You are born a human on this planet.
you have a birthright to water. And the fact that we have commercialized it's water okay. is disgusting. And don't get me going on water. I, I'll just go off on a complete, utter tangent. But, um, but sometimes it's other stuff. I was in Italy. Um, Are you going to call more people stupid in this video? I think she's done it three times, maybe four. Are you going to keep calling people stupid or are we going to talk about how good of a person you are now because you share some of your large wealth like eight months ago and i was out i was having some drinks and there was this um we had like shut down this it was a restaurant but we turned it into a karaoke bar i don't even know how to explain it. sometimes i get a little rowdy and they had a microphone and i took it and i made friends with these girls there was like this like, girl gang there and they were all single moms or you know, and they were, I think they were mostly single moms and they were away for a holiday. They were from London and they were in Venice, Italy. And they were all like, you could tell like that this was their weekend. Like they were just getting their, their week. And I don't know what came over me. Honestly, I was just like, we had a great time and we were leaving. And I said uh, to the waiter, I said, I want to pay their bill. And I didn't ask how much it was. And I didn't know. I, w I didn't know. And he said, ma'am, I don't, I don't think you want to do that. And I said, no, I want to pay their bill. My, here, here's my American Express. It will work. And he like shook his head. <laughs> and so I paid the bill. It was 890 euro, which is like $1,100. And then I tipped him. Why didn't you give them that money to the kids who don't have drinking water or the kids who don't have shoes? Luna. She's okay. Luna's okay. I know. She just wants to go. In, at the park. She wants to go to the park. Okay. All right, Iris. That's enough. Sorry. They're, they're getting rowdy. Um, but, but it's so funny. It, it's so funny to watch her go from one, like she keeps like 180ing it. You know what I mean? She'll go back forth. Back. It's just wild to me. 160 euro. Cause it's, it brings a little bit different. And then he gave me my bill and yeah. my bill was less than the tip for their bill. It's and really I was like, that's funny. Anyway, um, awesome. they freaked out. And I, I think that I can't tell you all the ripples that will come from that. I don't know why. I still don't know 100% why I needed to do that. And I'm connected to all of them on Facebook. Um, and they've all reached out. And they, they felt really touched by that, like why a stranger would totally do that. But, like, sometimes you just need to, like, have a moment where somebody just does something good for no reason. I know that was their weekend away. I know that that. Well, it, there was a reason. And it was to boost her ego, right? She wanted to feel better. She's like, no, it will go through. Also, Taylor said, Melissa, the stealing, giving white savior, everybody, right? She really was giving white savior. Relieved. They would have had to pay that bill and I, they really, it relieved a little bit from them. And if, I hope that what it did was build in them. I love that. that they're they a little bit more faith in humanity, that, people. that strangers are good and that people are kind and that good things happen sometimes out of the clear blue. And so it's not always like a charity that I donate to. Sometimes I just want to sow a seed in the world and I don't know why I need to sow it. I just know. I, when my intuition says to do something, I don't know. You want to recruit them into your MLM. Ask a lot of questions. I just do it. And I didn't have to budget it. I didn't have to ask how much it was. I didn't think about it. It wasn't planned. It just was. I was away on vacation. It felt like doing it. Bang. I did it. And, um, and that is what money is for. I think when people for me say that money doesn't matter, I think you're a really sick, selfish person. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm sorry, Finn. I just, Hey, sweet girl, I'm gonna let you go back to your to your bed, okay? Which is actually my bed. <laughs> but go, baby. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I had to put Finn down for that one. Huh? Okay, give me one second. Buckle up for that again, okay? Out of the clear blue. And so it's not always like a charity that I donate to. Sometimes I just want to sow a seed in the world and I don't know why I need to sow it. I just know I when my intuition says to do something. I don't ask a lot of questions. I just do it. And I didn't have to budget it. I didn't have to ask how much it was. I didn't think about it. It wasn't planned. It just was. I was away on vacation. It felt like doing it. Bang, I did it. And um, and that is what money is for. I think when people for me say that money doesn't matter, I think you're a really sick, selfish person. I actually think Melissa's a really fucking sick, selfish person. She's sick and selfish. I, that, if I was talking to Aaron, I'd be saying some other things, but I'm not. So I'm not going to say much more on that, but just know, I'm talking with my teeth closed. Just know, Melissa, that the way you said that is the way we all see you, babe.
That's exactly how we see you. <laughs> and I do say that to offend you, those of you out there. Who and I say it to offend you too, by the way. I hope it offends you. Who are, I want you to be offended. Um, I'm totally fine with that. If that makes you unfollow me, I'm happy about that because I don't want to be around people like you. If you really do believe that money is evil or that like, oh, money isn't everything, well, then you really only care about yourself. What do you mean? It's it, it she she's projecting right now. She's projecting. Oh, Emily said it projection. Right, yes. What do you mean? Money isn't everything. What do you mean? I don't know where she's coming up with this. I don't know why she's saying this. <laughs> yeah, no, reigning blue and white Robert France. You're right, JJ. I've just been thinking that, thinking in all of the MLM videos to be in these companies, you need to be very selfish to get to the top. Yeah, that's the, that's absolutely right. That's the whole point. You have to be extremely selfish to get to the top. That is just so shocking. And you know what? Melissa thinks that she's right. I mean, look, look at the way she's talking about it. She really thinks she's some shit. Oof. I can't. I'll do the next video on another live later because this is, I think I'm done after this. Right. Clearly. Right. Because there are people in this world and there are animals in this world. By the way, that was the last of it. Um, I think it cut off. Let me see. 48. Yeah. Let me, let me look. That's the end of the video. Let me see. I wonder if it cut off because Facebook said, um, don't know about that. <laughs> let me see. No, yeah, that's where it cuts off. 4806. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I can't watch her next one. I'm gonna have to do that later. I'm too I'm too pissed off. <laughs> I wonder if Facebook was like, Bleh. pause, <laughs> pause, we're done. You're done. <laughs> wow. Wow. I just, I don't know. I guess Melissa's way worse than I ever thought she was. I thought she was bad, obviously. She's such, Marcel, she's such an empty person. That is a very, that is a very good way to put that. That's a very good way to put that. And obviously, like, I think money is important, but I don't think money is everything. I think that if money is everything to you, you know, there's there's some issues. Like, I think money is important. I even said earlier, like, like you need money to live. I didn't say that exact thing. I might have said it on a video. No, I think I said it earlier talking about, like, money is important, but it's not everything. And when it becomes your everything, there's some issues. <laughs> go cut the stream. Facebook said to them, you're no go cut the stream. Oh, geez. Oh, Apple Pickle said, I feel kind of bad for her. It must be tough to be that insecure. It must be. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I didn't know it was going to be that intense, y'all. I didn't realize she was going to say all that shit. I think we'll do the next video in another live uh, later this week, maybe see how I feel. Um, cause I need a break from her. I need a little break, a break, a break. You know what I mean? So thanks for being here. I'm going to go eat lunch and cuddle with my very great dogs. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a relaxing or fun or whatever kind of day you want. And you know, this shows me that money's definitely not everything because if it was, then I would be a lot more like Melissa Collins and I'm glad I'm not. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I know it was a difficult live. I hope you have a great uh, rest of your week. Um, I have at least two, maybe three videos coming out this week. Also, please don't forget to like the video. And if um, you want to boost it even more, you're welcome to leave a comment. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Goodbye, everyone. Have a wonderful time. I I've said that a hundred times. Anyway, see you later. Stay till the morning,
follow me